Hi everybody! In this video we're going to learn how to add background music and sound effects in 3GS. So in this example I have background music playing and when my player cube intersects with the sphere we'll get a sound effect and when my player cube intersects with the other sphere we'll get a different sound effect. So let's see how this works. First you should get your sound effects. One good place to get free sound effects is opengameart.org. Not all sound file formats work in 3JS. I don't know all of the file formats that work, but MP3 does work. FLAC files do not work. But you can use Audacity, a free audio program, to convert audio files. To bring audio files into Audacity, you can just drag and drop your files into the interface. And to export it into a different file format, you can just go into File, Export, and choose a different format. I'm going to choose MP3 and hit save and now you have an mp3 file of this audio okay so let's quickly go through my boilerplate here I'm just importing my modules I've created a scene and a camera and created a render and an ambient light and directional light cube 1 is the cube on the right hand side I've created the cube and I've created the cube bounding box with a box 3 object that will detect if it's colliding with the player cube bounding box. And now I'm creating the player cube and the player cube bounding box. And here I'm creating the ball with the bounding sphere. And when the player cube's bounding box intersects with the sphere, then the sound effect will play. And here I'm just creating the ground and adding all those objects to the scene. So let's get busy with the sound effects. Okay, so the first thing to do is add the listener. You could kind of think of the listener as the microphone attached to the camera, right? The microphone listens for all the sounds in its environment and can give you an idea of how far something is in which direction the sound is coming from. And that's essentially what the listener is. So you just have to do it once for all the sounds you're adding to your scene. Just create a new audio listener and add it to your camera. Now I'm going to create a new instance of the audio loader. The audio loader is going to load every single sound file that you have. So it's going to load all my MP3 files. So you just need to create one audio loader to load all your sound files. And now we're going to load our background sound. So I'm creating a background sound object. And then I'm creating a new 3 audio object. So this creates a non-positional global audio object. Okay, so the, the audio object is the, the source of the sound and the listener the listener is the listener to the sound that is attached to the camera. Okay, then we're going to load the sound file using the audio loader. So audio loader dot load and then in, in quotation marks you're going to put the path of the sound file you want to load. This one is the guitar mp3 file and it's in the sounds folder. Sounds folder guitar mp3. Once it's loaded I'm going to run this function. So I am going to put this file into the sound objects buffer using the set buffer method. So a buffer is just like a, a storage place. You can think of it that way. And then you can control how many times you want the sound file to play. So since this is the background sound, I want it to loop over and over and over again. So I'm using the set loop method and I'm setting it to true. And then I can set the volume of the background sound from 0 to 1. And I'm going to set it to 0.4 because I want the background sound to be less noisy than the individual sound effects and we can choose to play it right away or not. I want the background sound to play right away. I'm going to use the play method for the background sound object and you can hear it playing. But I'm just going to comment that out now so it's not on for the rest of this video. Okay, and we're going to follow this method for all the sound effects. We're going to create a new 3 audio object. We're going to load that sound with the audio loader. We're going to set it to its buffer. We're going to control the looping and control the volume and control when it plays. So here's the cube ball sound effect. So whenever when the player cube intersects with the ball's boundary sphere, the sound will play. So I'm creating the sound and the new sound object and then I'm going to load that sound file using the auto loader and this is the file and where it's located or the path in my code editor directory and then I'm going to run this function once it's loaded so I'm passing the sound file into the buffer of this sound object using set buffer 
Now I'm going to set the looping, so I'm setting it to false. I only want that sound to play when the player is intersecting with the ball. And it's a short sound effect. If the player is there for a little longer, then it will keep playing and playing and playing and playing. I don't need it to loop. And I'm setting the volume to 1 because I want the individual sound effects louder than the background noise. And I'm doing the same thing with the cube cube sound effect. When the player cube's bounding box intersects with the other cube's bounding box, it's going to play this sound. So I'm creating the new sound object, putting it in cube cube sound. I'm going to load that sound file using the auto loader. This is the path of that file. And then I'm going to run this function and pass this sound file into the object's buffer by using the set buffer method. I'm setting the looping to false because it's a sound effect, it's a short sound effect. It will play over and over if those two objects are intersecting and I'm setting the volume to one. So we have our files loaded. We just need to tell the individual sound effects when to play. So that's going to be in my collision detection function. So in my animate loop, I'm checking for collisions for the bounding shapes. So here's the intersecting tests to see if one bounding shape is touching another shape. So if the player's bounding box is intersecting with the other cube bounding box, then it's going to run this. It's going to run this animation and then it's going to play the cube cube sound effect. And if the cube 2 bounding box intersects with the sphere, the bounding sphere for the ball, then it's going to run this animation and play the cube ball sound effect. And since the sound effect is short, it's just going to play it and it's going to stop when it's done. 